that's an interesting point that I feel like a lot of athletes in other sports don't have in that you can make a living as a professional climber. You can spend as, as long as you want climbing professionally, whether you win or not at the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> this is Climbing Gold. We interviewed Adam Andre, it's sort of a broad, wide ranging interview, but, uh, but I asked him about qualifying for, for Paris. And he said something interesting where basically he was like, well, if I don't qualify, then I'm not too bummed. Because if I don't qualify, then I had no shot of winning to begin with. And he's kind of like, I'm only going to to do my best, basically. He's like, I'm going to win. And if I don't qualify, then obviously I wasn't going to win. I'm like, that's such an interesting approach. Because I've always thought of the Olympics, like, if you qualify, how cool is it that you get to go to the Olympics? You know, it's like, (laughs) because I mean, you know, unlike uh, Merrigan or whatever, the bouldering comp you're talking about. Yeah. Sort of like if you get last place at the Olympics, you're still at the Olympics. You know, you're like, that's cool. I mean, it might be disappointing in that you didn't perform your best, but you're like, whatever, I went to the Olympics. I don't <laughs> For know. sure. I, like, I think I think I've also like never had the mentality that um like showing up to win helps me like do my best. Um I mm-hmm. feel like that's just like a lot of pressure. Of course, like Adam like, you know, has uh the record to show for uh that and I think that um that is like a mentality that uh maybe I could have crafted over time, but it just hasn't been something that um I has like worked for me and I have like tried like uh for instance like world championships like this last year like I was really excited to um you know perform just in like lead climbing on like the highest stage I could um and I feel like I like showed up being like the most physically capable that I like could have been um but I think that mentally like I was just like sapped like I think that I'd like to like put in all this work and like not really um maybe done like enough like reset time um and I think that uh that expectation and that hope of like kind of like winning that comp I think like got to me and I think that like I've been through that process before but I think like to have it be on like that like larger stage was definitely a good like learning experience for me um at that time and I think it um you know resonates for me like going into the games as well I mean you're describing something that I feel like all competitors all Olympians sort of struggle with which is that expectation of wanting to do their best but not saying that they're trying to do their best you know like wanting to win but not trying to win but just i mean you know you, you seem to have a healthy mindset around it but then everybody has a healthy mind you know like everybody says the right things like how do, how do you actually you know truly believe that and like do that when you show up at competition yeah i mean i think like in 2019 like i thought that a world's cup was like the biggest stage i could step onto um i think that like for me like the you know pool beyond that wasn't really visible and I thought that this was like my chance and this was like my the biggest stage that I ever could walk out onto um and I think that maybe the Olympics will be different because it like literally is maybe the the biggest biggest one yeah Yeah. Um, (laughs) but but I, I think like having that mindset is like um pretty consistent like you know like you think that like a 514 is like the biggest thing that you could ever try until you try like a 14b and then a you know and so on and so on um my coach has like a saying that like uh we're basically like all bodies of water and uh you know every day that we show up to climbing is like another like drop in that water um and i think that that's true whether it's like a competition or like a day of training um these are just like single days that um don't necessarily define like that huge ocean because it's a freaking ocean you know um and i think that like uh that has like really resonated with me over time i think that like uh you're not going to remember like the days when I'm like uh, showing up to comps like Merrigan in 2022. Like that's not something that you ever have heard. Uh, maybe maybe you have, but um, you probably haven't heard of that. You've heard of the day that I like qualified for the Olympics. And I think like, you know, if I show up and do the best that I can, like in the Olympics and you hear about it, that'll be great. But I think also like um, there's a good chance that that doesn't happen too. And I think that uh, I'm still like a climber and I think that opposed to other sports like I think that being able to climb outside and have a future in the sport despite how the games goes is really awesome yeah that's an interesting point that I feel like a lot of athletes in other sports don't have in that you can make a living as a professional climber you can spend as as long as you want climbing professionally whether you win or not at the Olympics yeah (laughs) Yeah. and I mean in some ways that's that's sort of I don't know, it's slightly unfair. You think of other other <laughs> types of, like synchronized swimming, let's say, where it's yeah, like if yeah. you're not winning the Olympics, you're bummed. <laughs> it's like how like what else do you do as a synchronized swimmer for the next four years? But. For sure. Yeah. I mean I think I think like uh 
you know, that's a funny example because I think it really is like, you know, they have like uh, shows and things that they do like work towards. But I think I think most sports for sure, uh, like that's like the main focus and the main objective for your whole life. And then you show up to the games and it's like, yeah, like that like defines or feels like it defines like the rest of your existence. <laughs> yeah, you're, certainly your career. Yeah. But. 